my name's Molly and today I'm going to be showing you around Martello Tower Peak in Felix Day, Suffolk. Come on, let's go! This tower was built in 1812, over 200 years ago. It was one of eight in Felix Day. Over 100 Martello Towers were built across the east and south coast of England. Each of them were given a letter of the alphabet. This one is letter P. The towers were built to protect the coast from invasion by Napoleon and France. You can't really see France though. How do you get in this place? Let's explore. Look, there's the door up there. When the tower was built, there would be a ladder instead of stairs so that they could easily pull it up so that the invaders couldn't get in. Come on, let's go in. And this is what we look like on the inside. Over 750,000 bricks were used to make this. One, two, three, four. Too many to count. The walls are over 13 foot thick and the column in the middle gives the tower its strength. 24 men and one officer would be living, cooking and sleeping in here. Bit cramped, don't you think? Originally, there would be a trap door down here, but luckily for us, there's stairs. Watch your step. Down here was where food supplies and cannonballs would be stored. This is the gunpowder magazine. In this room would be where barrels of gunpowder would be stored. Back in 1812, there would have been no electricity, so lanterns would have had to be used. The gunpowder was very explosive, so having a naked flame down here would be very dangerous. So this little candle window makes it much safer. The lantern would be placed in here, which would light up the gunpowder store so the soldiers can see what they're doing. Without fear that it might cause an explosion. How cool is that? Right, there was one more place to explore. The roof! Let's go! As you can see, this, these stairs have been worn from over 200 years of use. Come on, let's go. Mind your step. One big, two small, and the biggest one could fire over two kilometres. That's 20 football pitches. Over there is Langard Fort, where Martello Tower oasted before it got lost to sea. Over there is where Martello Tower stood, but now it's someone's house. This tower has been used for other things since 1812. It was an observation point to look out for smugglers. It was also used by the Coast Guard. During World War I, it was a wireless signal station with a huge mast on the roof. And in World War II, the tower was used as a lookout for enemy aircraft. Now Christ watch a base on the roof. From here, they watch the sea from Harwich all the way to the River Deben, looking for boats or people who might have trouble in the sea. I hope you enjoyed our virtual tour of Martello Tower P, Felix Day. Goodbye.